if the register keys that you changed are being overwritten back to their old values, you can create a task that will rewrite them uh, every time you reboot so that when you do reboot, the changes you made are still there. You will need to download a tool which will allow you to change registry permissions through the command line. There is other ways of doing it without getting this tool. You can do it through the PowerShell uh, if you wanted to look into that. And there's a couple other tools that come with Windows, but this one's easier. Um, so if you decide to go this way, download set ACL. And depending on what version of Windows you're running, copy this to somewhere that's within the Windows path. So when you type it in or it's run, it can find the file. So for now, I'm just going to drop this in my Windows directory. For more information about this program and how to use it, uh, you can go and look into it on this site. Find examples in the switches if, if that's what you're interested in. Okay, so once that file is or in a place that your computer will find it when you run it, you can run a script or set up a file with those keys in it and the permission changes in it. So I'm going to paste this down below. Just copy this. Go into a new text file. Paste it in. Save as. You can just type in anything you want. I'm going to type this or call this icons moving. I'm also going to make it a command file, so dot cmd. So that's the file I just created. You're going to need you don't have to, but you should put this somewhere because you're going to be accessing it, or the scheduler is going to be accessing it. So I'm just going to put a copy of this. I'll store it on my J drive. So now I'm going to schedule to run that as a task. So I can just search and do task scheduler create task I'm going to tell it run as system and be sure to check run with the highest privileges it needs to be run as administrator you can name it anything you want. Click on Actions tab at the top, New. We're going to tell it to start a program. We're going to browse to where we saved that file. Click OK. And what we're going to have trigger it is an event. So I'm going to choose on an event because there's no task to run at shutdown. But I can tell it to do it on an event that I know that that happens on shutdown. So I'm going to change log system and user 32. Event ID is 1074. Click OK. Then click on the Conditions tab at the top and make sure everything's unchecked. And click OK again. Now this task should run when you reboot the machine. So even if that key gets overwritten while you're using the computer or there's some program changing it, when you restart, it's going to rewrite those keys to the system so that when the computer comes back on, that's what it's going to load. So if you click on Task Schedule Library, highlight the task you just created, right-click on it, choose Properties, History, 
can see I haven't run it yet. So after you boot and it still didn't fix it, make sure the task actually ran to see if something's stopping it from running.